Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, the final video for Unit 3, we're going to look at long run perfect competition. So, we know um, from earlier in the unit that the difference between short run and long run is that in the long run, um, all resources are variable. And so that opens up uh, some different things here with the firm. So in the long run in perfect competition, new firms can enter the market and will enter the market if current firms in the market are making a profit. They're drawn to those profits. They see other firms making a profit. They want to join in. And then current firms in the market, if they see other firms in there with them making a loss, they're going to want to leave because they, they recognize, okay, you can't be successful in this business. I'm going to go do something else. And so that leads to what's called long run equilibrium, a situation in which a perfectly competitive firm is breaking even. So the fate of every perfectly competitive firm in the long run is to earn zero economic profit or a normal profit and therefore break even. And so I want to spend the rest of this video looking at is how does this occur? So in the short run, perfectly competitive firms, just keep this in mind, can make a profit, take a loss, or break even. But in the long run, the only thing they can do is break even. So just keep that in mind as we start graphing. So in this example, the firm is currently making a profit because minimum ATC is below the price of $15. Now, because uh, this firm is making a profit, other firms are going to want to enter. And so that is going to shift the market supply curve to the right, lowering the price. And now there is a new price that firms are going to have to take, which is $10. Okay, because now the price has fallen, more firms have entered, market supply shifts to the right. And so therefore, the firms have to take the new price, and that happens to be the break-even price. And now the firm is breaking even. So... When firms enter, it shifts the marginal revenue curve down, and now the firm is breaking even. Another example, so let's say this firm is currently in break even, so we start them in long run, and then let's say for some reason there's a decrease in demand, maybe there's a decrease in income for a normal good, and so demand shifts to the left, price falls, and now the firm's taking a loss because the price of $10 is below minimum average total cost. And so in the long run, because um, this is short run, in the long run, because the firm is taking a loss, other firms are gonna leave, supply shifts left, and then we get marginal revenue returning to where it was and back to break even. And so what's really important to understand here is how we move from short run to long run and back. Um, you know, in this kind of a cycle, right? Where if there's profits to be made, supply shifts to the right, erasing those profits. If there's a loss to be made, supply shifts to the left, erasing those profits or losses, I should say. So that's all for this video on long run perfect competition. Until next time, have a great day.